What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is 10.09 on Wednesday night, 10.09 p.m. Vladislav in the house. We were supposed to be driving an hour ago. <clears throat> yeah, we were. Lauren, yeah. ready? Yeah. Jackson, Stop hey buddy. Jefferson, we're leaving. Going to LS Fest in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We decided to drive through the night because it's supposed to take 10 hours, but it always takes like 12 or 13 because we end up leaving in the early morning and driving through the day with the traffic and everything. So figured we'll leave at night. I don't mind driving at night. I'm a night person. 700 miles. We'll see what time we get there. What do you think? Noon. We'll get there yeah. noon. If we get there at noon, I swear to God. That's, <laughs> what is that, 14 hours? No. Maybe I should take some of these bananas. Jackson, what is she doing? Is your fridge the one? Why is she getting bananas? You got your bananas? All right. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I always feel that way though. I know I'm forgetting something because when I left my house, I was too lazy to turn back around. I know. Well, we're not taking the 69 Camaro because Lauren would have had to drive that one and she didn't feel comfortable driving it. We're just taking the truck and trailer with the Freedom Rocket, making it an easier trip. Less vehicles involved. We can all ride in the uh, truck together. Got the Freedom Rocket all loaded up, strapped down. Got the suitcases bungee corded so they won't fly around. All right, we'll see you in Kentucky. And we've made it to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Oh man, slightly tired. I've been up since uh, 4.45 a.m. on Wednesday morning. It's now Thursday morning around 9 a.m. We're gonna go to the hotel room, check in. Oh yeah, alrighty. Lights are already on, look at that. Yep. so this is what's going down right now. What are you doing over there? No sip September. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're gonna get some lunch here. I took the trailer and everything and set up at the drag strip, so, well, didn't set up per se, I just left it there. Ready for tomorrow, so we'll get there bright and early tomorrow morning and, you know, get everything set up. Unless I have any random video footage due for you tonight, we'll just fast forward to tomorrow. Actually, maybe I'll film Andrew's arrival. CSP Andrew and Matt are going to be arriving tonight. They just left like an hour ago. They'll be lucky if they show up by 12 a.m. Well, it is 10, what is it, 10? No, it's 11. What time is it? 11, it was 11:11 11, 11 when we got here. It's 11:15 right now, and uh, there he is, Andrew, the man, the myth, with the twin turbo C8. <laughs> Matt, how was the drive? We're here. How many times did you almost quit? I didn't. <laughs> you say he quit on the way here. <laughs> All right, it's the next morning. Finally got some sleep. Feeling a little better today. Ready to go. That's all we're taking is that cooler. I got a room key. I got a Okay, drinks stacked. Oh, look at that 69 right next to my truck. Yeah. Oh, my camera's fogging up because there's like negative two degrees inside there and it's like 80 out here. Foggy, foggy. Might have to just wait till we get to the track for this to go away. All right, so we are arriving now at Beach Bend Raceway. To the left is where the drag strip is. To the right is all the vendors set up. And all the way down at the end here is where all the racers, uh, drag racers, I should say, are set up. Texas Speed Trailers right there. I think, where am I, right here? Yeah, to the left here? Wait, where am I? Is this where I'm at? Yeah, I'm right here, okay. Almost lost my trailer. We're in the middle of all this here. Hook up to the trailer, unload everything and get to going. There she is. Oh man, dang, dude, <laughs> that thing's insane. That turbo's huge. That'll draw some attention. Just a little bit. Might draw on some birds too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so everything is ready. We're gonna unload the Freedom Rock and pull it out here. After I get everything set up, I'll go check in. I'm about to take my shirt off to change my wheels. I don't know if you wanna see that on the video, but it happened. I don't wanna see the dimples. Wait, I don't even think I told everybody we moved. Oh yeah, we moved. <laughs> Locations, we're next to Texas Speed now. Right by the track, perfect. We got a lot of space. Texas Speed invited us to move here, so we're gonna hang out here.
Sounds pretty spicy. I mean it launched really light barely left the line and then ramped up into boost and started getting it so it was a you know good first run I mean the things getting out there it's one of the first times he's run it with or it is the first time he's run it with the uh, the turbo setup so it's looking pretty good all right what do you think I have like a real soft lawn this converter is a lot different too so like I, I short shifted like hardcore like every year that was good though 9.3 first run yeah, considering like it's all over this too. I didn't, I didn't say that, but maybe 20 PSI. And last time I think we were running 26 and we were making like 1200. Now we're making like maybe 1050. What's up, brother? How you doing? Nice to see ya. It's your first LS Fest? Yeah, yeah. dude. Wow, congratulations. Because we normally we normally come to Camaro Fest and it's always like two, it's like in July, so we normally can't swing it with work. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. It's hot here now. It is, yeah. Have this, you ran your car yet? Yeah, we went. We just made a pass, what, like an hour ago, maybe? Yeah. Hey. What does Ruby have on it? Is it a... It's an 88. I thought it was bigger than that. Yeah, no, it's Okay. What is this? 102. <laughs> Are you stocking gear on this car? No, it's, I'm running the uh, Dominator. Oh, you have a Dominator? Yeah. It looks really cool, man. Love yeah, it came out good. Right, right. It was, dude. It was either here. Well, right, right, dude. It was either here, like, and like, kind of like that, like how they have theirs with like a hole in the, in the yeah. bumper. But like, I'm like, yeah. No, this is sick, dude. This is super cool. I like it a lot. Good luck, man. All right, we're gonna. Thanks, ride. man. Well, I gotta move some trailers. Yeah, dude. Okay, thanks, All man. Good right. to see you. Yeah, you All right, Nick. Second pass. I'm gonna stay on the two step a little more. Build the boost up so I can launch a little harder. Not short shift. <laughs> if I run an eight, nine, anything in the eights really. If I run anything, I'll be happy because I'm only running low boost on this thing and it's like extremely hot out. So that's definitely definitely be happy for me. like a t-top flew off of that other car shattered right on the track so definitely gonna be clean up after this all right so it's a little dark out now the sun went in i'm gonna make the last pass of the day I had to wait again like i said because they're doing class racing so they finally got around to the test and uh let's see what it does we were able to uh bump up the uh, two steps slightly it should leave a little harder this time so we'll see see what happens
starting to get it down, starting to get it dialed in. You know, that launch was a lot better. It's good to see it uh, getting dialed in, like this first time for that car with the new turbo set up at the track. He's just done a few street pulls on it, but now it's at the track and ripping it up. Alright, so we're out here at LS Fest Day 2. We got Seth here from Texas Speed, we got Vlad, and we got Casey, mail order tuner. What do you think, Casey? Uh, there's a lot of room here. Obviously, y'all hadn't run it at the track. Um, just kind of coming out here and getting some base holes and finally getting some data off this thing. Uh, there's, there's kind of a lot of room just showing up and running it off the trailer. Yeah. So, trying to work that out for you. See if, uh, see if you can get back in the mid eights with this pretty quickly. Yeah, we went 9-0 last night at the end of the night with just a little bit of a harder launch. You didn't say I was here. Oh, Lauren, Lauren's here too. <laughs> hey, you were over there, sorry. And uh, Andrew is in line. They're doing test and tune right now, which I'm gonna get in line here in a minute. So what's your name, man? Uh, Cody Kennard. Cody, my nice name's Nick. So this is, the guy, this is the guy on my second pass, his T-top flew off, but he got a new one today. And you had to race in four years, right? No, sir. Exactly. I race what happened that you're that you? I, I got run over by a drunk driver, man. I was, oh, on, I was on way to work. I was on a motorcycle, and dude hit me in a dually. Oh my God! Yeah, it's a uh, T11 paraplegic. You drive hand controls. You can't move my legs at all. So how do you? Uh, okay, so what? Down, throttle. How's the throttle work on that down thing? Down for gas. Okay. And fourth brake. It's my butt box. Trans brake. I keep my parachute over here, so I accept the little parachute. So you have to drive with one hand. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's how we feel, man. No excuses. No excuses. close to that eight so we worked on the two-step a little it ramped up way quicker into boost you could hear it uh, bouncing off the two-step there sounds good so from here just you know it's all just dialing in converter hangs around like 60 to 6 thousand when it gets up there yeah so that's why I think it's like gonna flat like it's so I'm shifting way too yeah. soon it seemed like it built boost quick on the two-step it was better I still think we should add more oh, we oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Like I probably took maybe uh, half a tenth off the 64 for that. Yeah. I want to see like a low one three. Oh yeah. Least. That was my bad. I probably would have won an eighth if I'd have fucking shifted it to the second bike. You know what I mean? It's all about just getting it dialed in. And yeah. Happy. Like I said, I'm just happy I'm not blowing the tires off the wall. Like yeah. I, I, I'm just, it's going. You know what I mean? It's, it's working. better to keep adding than to not even be able to get yeah. it to leave. And it's bumping in nice. Everything's set nice, you know? Well, the weather did not hold off, unfortunately been doing this for a couple hours now yeah that's what time it is right there beer clock that's right clock. yes that's one of them i don't know which one you're so on. got old mike davenport chevy dude <laughs> <laughs> poor guy came out for today and it's just pissing everywhere oh, just chilling under the tan we were in the trailer earlier when it was uh really downpouring so once we get another clear spot here Hopefully it's soon, I don't know. We'll have to load the car up and call it a day and uh, I don't think tomorrow it's going to be any better, so we may be done for this weekend. Andy has a good match. It's true. That's why he's jealous. Look at the match is bigger than his penis. <laughs> so 
We're driving back here from the track. Look at this guy on the train tracks with this trailer. Do not ever do this, people. Oh my God, that's the worst thing you could ever do. He's lucky a train didn't decide to come by at that very moment. Wow. All right, guys, day three of LS Fest. However, Mother Nature had some other plans. So we are packing up and going home now. They are not doing any drag racing because it was all of- all Lauren's fault. The whole thing was Lauren's fault. Precisely. She was so upset, tears from the sky. That's how upset <laughs> it But yeah, as you can see, no drag racing going on. So we're packing up, gonna do a late checkout at the hotel and make our way back home. How about it, Nick? Yeah. Unfortunately. I only got one pass in yesterday. Yeah, so we didn't, we didn't get much footage from the day just because we were so focused on staying dry and figuring out what we were gonna do next. Yeah. Hence the Instagram stories. But I would say all in all, like it was a pretty successful trip even though it got rained out and it got some solid passes in. Oh yeah, planning on making another pass um, <clears throat> yesterday and getting getting into the eights. Yep. We, uh, we we're so close. The, we dialed in the launch a little better um after that but unfortunately it started to rain so like i really wanted to make an eight second pass on low boost here in this hot weather because that'd be just like that'd be awesome because then when i go back to cecil county which is like way better weather it'll go freaking high mid to high eights on low boost so we'll just have to go back and do that instead i'm just kind of like glad that the car worked so well like right off the bat i mean it had like no issues it's just about dialing into that launch you know getting the car to leave good we'll get it dialed in at cecil for sure i think we're almost there you know every pass i made i cut my 60 foot down by like maybe a tenth or so maybe half a tenth so that's good that's what we're looking for also a big shout out to a mail order tuner casey um he came with texas speed with his car and that car's insane and he helped me out uh with the uh with the dominator like tuning it he's a He's a very good tuner for drag racing stuff. He was able to get the car to start leaving hard and, and do it, dialing it in the way I wanted it to be. Also, a big shout out to Texas Speed for letting me park my cars and stuff near their, near their trailer. I was actually pretty thankful because that the fact that it started to rain, we were parked in that grassy area, and that would have been horrible <laughs> if it was like raining. I feel bad for those guys over there, but I'm thankful that I was here on pavement. Big shout out to Holly. Holly Performance for putting on LS Fest. Pretty awesome event. Even though we only had one day of actual drag racing, really, or one nice day, it was still pretty awesome. I'll definitely be coming back to the next event. We're gonna strap down the Freedom Rocket and uh, head back to the hotel so we can shower and basically head home today. We're gonna call it a day early. We were gonna stay till tomorrow and leave because the event was supposed to happen today. But since it was canceled, we're gonna head out tonight. And uh, yeah. So stay tuned for the next video on the car. We're taking it to Cecil and we get back, hopefully next weekend if the weather's good. Hopefully it should run an easy eight second pass on low boost as the car sits. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll turn it up and see what it does. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're coming here for the first time. And as always, have a great day.